Now, I sent this to CGC as one order, but they split it into two orders because one of those I wanted special labels with. What's up viewers, Brad, proprietor of our Stool Entertainment, doing another video from my kitchen. In this case, I just got back some CGC graded books that I'd sent out oh, almost a year ago. And I'll link to the video in whatever upper corner here that is required so that you can view the video. Now, I sent this to CGC as one order, but they split it into two orders because one of those I wanted special labels with, and the other, others I really didn't care. Just standard labels were good. Um, turned out this was sort of a eh, grading thing, kind of some good, some bad involved. The good involved was the fact I sent all of them to be pressed, which I'm guessing helped. And two of the books, I was disappointed in the grades, and two of the books, I was very happy with the grades. And I'm going to do the two books that I kind of had them graded for preservation versus actual I want to sell them. And maybe in the future I'll sell them. Who knows? The thing is, I'm also very disappointed in one of the books as far as I got those Newton ring things. And I don't think they're too bad to where I'm going to send it back because I really don't want to deal with that hassle at this point. But let's get on with the first two books. Now these books, like I said, the first book... I was a little disappointed in the grade. I thought it was a little better than what it was. And it's Superman, The Man of Steel, uh, number 18, first appearance of Doomsday. It was a 9.4, which I'm not happy about. I thought it was maybe a 9.6. And with pressing, it would have been a 9.8 you know, maybe. I don't know. Again, it seems sometimes that, you know, CGC randomly just grades, I just don't understand. Now, the next book, and this was a little disappointing. Now, also, you can see the custom. They don't have um, DC Comics custom which sucks, but that's okay. This is DC Comics Presents number 87. And as you see, the grade is 7.0. Disappointing because, well, I thought it was not a 7. I thought it was a little better. But you can also see there's, I don't know if you can get the Newton rings here, right in this area. Yeah, that is just this whole area, Newton Rings. I don't know if I want to send it back in. I don't know what I want to do. But when it stands up, you can kind of tell the rings are there. Yeah, this is not good. I mean, yeah. Overall, it's disappointing. Put this up here I'm rearranging a little bit now this next book extremely happy pressing does help I saw a few minor defects in this book and pressing did take those defects out this is the boys hero gasm number one 9.8 and again I saw some flaws in it I thought okay a good pressing 
And again, there's some little Newton rings in this, which again, just upsets me a little bit. It's gonna take away from the price, but it's in this area here. That sucks. Such a high grade comic. And now all of a sudden I get Newton rings and I know people are real picky about those. And it just, it's one of those where I'm just like, yeah, this sucks. Next comic. I actually thought I'd get a 9.8 on this. This is the Spider-Verse number one. And it is the Walmart edition. I got this in a sort of comic grab bag that I bought. And I didn't know if I'd get my money out of the grab bag. This is worth it. This is going to grade out, I mean, the cost. If I put it up on eBay, yeah, it, it's going to be one of those things where it'll make some money back. The Hero Gasm, on the other hand, I don't know if I really want to put it on eBay. It depends. I'll have to state there's Newton rings in there. That will detract from bidding and the value. This thing, there is absolute, oh, there's a few minor Newton rings, which people will complain about, but the reality is this will probably sell well, as will this, if I put them up. The final comic, and Pressing did a beautiful job on this. I'm going to take the paperwork away here. And it's funny as I don't see any Newton rings on this. Young Avengers presents number six. Again, I got this in the same comic kind of grab bag thing I did with this. This was probably a 9.2. And CGC did the pressing. Brought it up at least two grades here. This is where I can make some money. These two right here, I can make good money on. The Hero Gasm, I don't know what I will do. I'm debating. Do I? I mean, I got to say Newton Rings. I have to explain that there are Newton rings. Otherwise, people get it, they get all kind of, oh, well, I don't want my money, you know, I, you, you ripped me off. Yeah. Otherwise, it's very good that this is where I can make some money, get some of my investment back, because this comic is kind of going into, I'll put the price maybe on the bottom, and let you know what all these really are valued at in the bottom when I edit everything together. But yeah, overall, this was kind of a good and bad, disappointing-ish, but what got me was CGC sent them two different orders in two different boxes, and I finally got them from UPS, or not UPS, FedEx, and they came on a Sunday. Today is a Sunday. They came. I thought for sure I would have to work from home on Tuesday because I'm not going to be working from home Monday anyway. It is what it is. I got the comics. few minor disappointments. But overall, I can see this is going to go up on eBay. Probably the Spider-Verse. I'll make some money. Hero Gasm, I don't know. I was debating about selling it in the video, depending on grade. 9.8 is really hard, even with the Newton rings. I may keep it for my collection and maybe sell it later on. The other two comics are for my collection. When I get my, um, how shall I say it, the den I'm working on, my man cave put together, those will go on display. 
If you've watched this far, thank you. I appreciate it. It helps out with, with my, as far as ratings in YouTube. And if you like this type of video, normally I post four videos based on video games a week. But if you like this type of video, I do on occasion post them. Hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you'll stay informed when I post videos. And this type of video pops up. You can watch it. It's awesome. Think about it. It costs you nothing to subscribe. And my videos will pop up in your homepage queue. And it is, I mean, I subscribe to a couple hundred channels. And some of the videos I watch, some of them I don't. Anyway, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Happy to bring you some more comic book entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And most of all, thanks for stopping by. Thank you.